The debate is picking up over COVID-19 vaccine mandates and the impact on our first responders. Today, a group that includes San Diego police officers and firefighters announced they have filed a lawsuit against the city. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal was there for the announcement and has more on what's in this suit. Well, here's a copy of the lawsuit and the attorney involved with this case says they're filing it on several grounds, including right to privacy. I've been a police officer for 23 years, yes, but I've been a San Diegan for 44 years. San Diego police officer Jonathan Weiss is one of the plaintiffs in a new lawsuit filed against the city. He says he's one of hundreds of officers who could face termination over the city's COVID-19 vaccine mandate. If his name sounds familiar, he received special recognition last year for saving two children at Sunset Cliffs. When twin two-year-old girls were driven off a cliff into the ocean, I risked my life to save them. I don't know, and nor can I think of any parent who would care about my vaccination status when that happened. 1,800 of us have stories like that, 500 of which aren't vaccinated. No one should care. We spoke out during a news conference at La Jolla Station 35. Organizers laid these boots out to show just how many first responders the city could lose over the vaccine mandate. Each one represents three people. Other plaintiffs in the lawsuit include SDPD Captain Manuel Del Toro, the nonprofit group Protection for the Educational Rights of Kids, and Battalion Captain Justice Norgard of San Diego Fire Rescue. And we're talking about staffing. We can barely staff engines now. I'm at Fire Station 40 in Rancho Penasquitos, and guess what? We've been browned out, meaning we've shut down a fire engine. According to the city, 19 employees have resigned over the vaccine policy. However, the San Diego Police Officers Association says 113 officers have left through resignation or retirement. Some are going down the street to Chula Vista or El Cajon or Oceanside, where there are no vaccine mandates. And those cities are becoming safer now that their police staffing has increased. The city says it's in the process of evaluating all of the requests for religious and medical exemptions. It declined to comment on the lawsuit. In La Jolla, Kelly Hesedal, CBS 8.